Hey, it's Gary from Video Guy. Video Guy's live Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. You give us 15 to 30 minutes. We're going to teach you about products and technology and things we sell. I have been really great at staying under that TED Talk 18-minute limit. I figure there's no way possible that we will hit that today because we have one of our favorite guests, an industry-known expert, Paul Richards, on the show. And he has so much knowledge to offer us. In today's show, we're really going to focus on the brand new line of PTZ Optics cameras. Now, it's not just one line. It's multiple product lines. So you've got the Move SC line starting at $999, which is affordable HD only. You've got the Move 4K, which, as it sounds like, goes up to 4K. Uh, and then we've got the new Link 4K products, which include Dante uh, IP connectivity. Now, I think when we talk about PTZ Optics, we've always talked about tremendous value. And your products, no doubt, have fantastic value. But the truth is, you guys were really clever in that you took what was essentially security cameras and turned them into production cameras. And with this round of products, you're actually really upping the production side because you've upped the sensors. And let's start right away right there with it. There are now Sony sensors in the SE, the Move 4Ks, and the Link. So we're going to go into the SE, but I think when you look at this list of what's the most important thing, you know, the, 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 SEs, the SEs are an affordable product line with the 12X Zoom starting at $999. But talk about that Sony optics delivering and, and why you guys went to Sony and how big, how big a deal that is. Yeah, so, you know, Sony is, creates a really good image sensor, and it's great for low light. It, is, it really is a noticeable image quality difference over our uh, second generation uh, cameras. And the Move SE is, of course, standard edition. So this is everything that you expect from PTZ Optics, which is really setting a new bar for quality with the Sony image sensors. We have our five-year warranty, the built-in auto tracking, which we have determined, hey, that's a standard feature. You know, a lot of um, PTZ cameras, you can, you, if you're not sure if you need auto tracking or not, you should check because most of them don't have auto tracking built in. And so with the Move SE, Move 4K, and the Link cameras, we said, you know, these are robotically controllable cameras. They can zoom in optically and show distances that are far away very clearly. But, but the ability to automatically follow a presenter, whether it's a teacher at a classroom or a pastor at a church, we were able to build this into even our standard edition cameras, because that's how important we believe uh, robotically controlled cameras um, you know, are. And then these are just some of the features that we have here. So over the past few years, especially during the pandemic, PTZ cameras sales exploded. So also what exploded was a lot of cheap knockoffs. And I think what you guys came in and said, you know, we're not going to be the cheapest, but we're going to give you a lineup of products starting at $9.99 that you'll be hard pressed why you would save a few hundred dollars to go with some knockoff company on Amazon or something like that. And let's talk about it. You're on your fourth generation. You guys know what you're doing. Like I said, you keep making them better and better. You have a whole suite of software that we're not even going into detail on this show. A five-year warranty. Now, that is traumatic because that means if you're a business, a house of worship, a school, you're going to mount one of these on a wall somewhere. You're not going to have to touch it for five years. If it goes wrong, it's going to be replaced. And a five-year warranty to me is a very big deal. The Sony Optics, great. I like to call it tonal connectivity. Your back panel now, can we go to this top camera for a second? I just want to show the guys the back panel a little closer. You've got everything you want there. You've got your, 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 your link for IP. You've got HDMI. You've got SDI. You've got USB. And by the way, for 99 bucks, if you want NDI, you can upgrade to it. If you don't want it, you don't have to spend for it. But at 99 bucks, it's such a great affordable upgrade. Now, I want to let people know, because this price is so low, you can only get it directly through logging into the PTZ Optics website. But we don't think that's a big deal. At 99 bucks, you know, it's there. It's usable. If you need it, get it. If you don't, fine. But in the past, that premium was, what, two, 300 bucks with your cameras, right? It was. And, and to speak to the five-year warranty and why, why that's such a big deal, you know, we had a customer at University of Alabama who had 190 classrooms that they needed PTZ cameras for. They decided to buy 230. Because over the years, they've had a 10, 20% failure rate, and these classrooms have to keep going. After two years of the past 2020 and 2021, of the 230 that they bought, they only had a one camera fail. 
So that's we can offer a five-year warranty, and you can deploy hundreds of these, and it's going to be a less than a 1% failure rate. Cool. Now, let's dig a little specifically. We talked about it in general, but it's a, the, the image quality of this generation of products is noticeably better. That's not to say your old ones weren't good, but you've really jumped ahead. And the, and the Sony optics are what it's about. So talk a little bit more specifics about that CMOS sensor and just what it's really delivering for our customers. Yeah, so one of the things you'll notice about the Move SE is that we do offer 12x, 20x, and 30x optical zoom. So these are high-quality glass that pairs perfectly with the Sony CMOS sensor. So Sony is, is crisper. If you, if you compare it to the older Panasonic sensors, it's crisper. It has more vibrant colors. The automatic settings for exposure and color are just more realistic and vibrant. Um, many customers will put these cameras in automatic settings because if you're a house of worship, you've got a lot of natural light. It might need to adjust for a cloudy day. You might not want to adjust it when it's dark out. So if you, especially if you're using these cameras in automatic settings, they perform much better with these newer CMOS sensors. It's the new generation. It's the latest generation of the Sony CMOS sensors. And you'll notice, I'm using one now, and you'll just notice that the colors, the vibrancy of the red versus the lighting on the blue. And this is more of a production look. And it, you'll notice it even in a regular classroom or kind of uh, you know normal uh, scenario, you'll notice it's not overly vibrant and you have a lot of controls over it. So we now ship these cameras with customizable profiles so that you can customize them, tweak them for your space, and then save it and deploy it on all, of all your other cameras. So it makes it really easy to get a consistent look and feel. Um, and it's just, you'll notice that we've added a lot more features into the cameras to, to control all these new settings available with the Sony sensors. Yeah, and over vibrant is important because on some other cheaper cameras, even more expensive cameras, they just pump the gain so much. So your reds like literally sparkle and bleed and stuff like that. You're not doing that. You're just getting a better color quality off the sensor. Let's talk about something else. You've improved some of the mechanics inside. We've got smoother, quieter operation. Talk about that. Did Paul lock up? I mean, a little technical issue here. It appears that we've lost Paul, so I'm going to go into, we'll take him off the field so we can get him. The, the SE gives you smooth, seamless motion, very easy for the operators to control. We have a PTZ control over there. We'll talk about that a little bit longer. But then the other big feature that is really exciting is all of the PTZ Optics new products, including the SEs, the Move 4Ks, and the Lynx, come with built-in auto tracking. Now, you don't have to run software on another computer. You don't have to upgrade your firmware. You don't have to pay an extra fee. In the unit, at, right out of the box, comes some really nice auto tracking. And I play with that auto tracking, and it really does a great job. One of the cool features I like is presenter lock, and that's where it kind of knows who the presenter is. So even if there's other people in the room, it knows I'm following Professor in the in the in the pink shirt in the, in the in this example. That's real important if you have a situation in house of worship or education where there's multiple people in front of the field of view of the camera. It knows who it's tracking and who it's locking locking onto. The other thing that I really love is you guys have a really nice U, web UI that really lets you you know get in there and control deeper levels of the product. But auto tracking for free is standard in the product is wonderful great job on that when paul comes back we'll talk about that a little bit more the other thing that i think is tremendous with the se product is you can upgrade to ndi you know if you know video guys you know we are huge fans of ndi and that technology our studio is all set up with ndi ndi is what we use here you can upgrade if you want ndi to 99 bucks for a move se now you could do it immediately. You can do it later, whenever you want to do it. But every Move SE is NDI upgradable for just $99. But if you don't want NDI, you don't have to pay for a feature that you're not going to use. And we've done a ton of shows on NDI. And if you want to learn more about NDI, just Google it on Video Guys or go to our YouTube or, or our blog. You can learn a ton about why NDI is so cool. Next, I want to get into the big boys, the Move 4K. And the Move 4K are just what it sounds like. They're new cameras that are 4K. They, 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 they go up to uh, full, full 4K P60. Once again, you're getting a five-year warranty. You're getting Sony optics with an even bigger sensor. 
you're getting total connectivity, including PoE, you're getting built-in audio tracking, you're getting NDI HX, including HX3 included, available in gray or white, 12X, 20X, or 30X Zoom. 12X starting at $17.99, 20X at 99 and the 30X available for $21.99. Once again, built-in auto tracking on the Move 4K. And the Move 4K, when you're in a 4K image, well, that means you can get a wider, sharper image from a further distance away, especially like with the 30K version. So having auto tracking, that's a big deal. And we're real excited about that. And I think the Move 4Ks with integrated auto tracking is just another win-win for you as the consumer. It's definitely a great shot, great something for you to get. I want to talk about the two products, the SE versus the Move 4K, because a lot of people, especially in House of Worship, come to us, they talk about lighting, and they say, you know, what's better in low light? So one of the things I want to stress is the Move 4K, and if we can go to this camera, exactly, you're reading my mind, you can see right here, it's got a much bigger sensor, tremendously larger. And that is the 30X to the 30X of these two compared. If you're going to put a camera in the back of the room of a church or a house of education or an auditorium, you are going to see that the Move The Move 4K is really going to deliver a lot better image for you. Because even if you're going in HD, that bigger sensor is get more pixels, more light. It's going to look better. You're going to have less noise. You're going to have a wider range. It's more professional. So, you know, in low light situations, I recommend overcompensating with a 4K camera because those extra pixels, even if you're going in HD, are going to give you superior image quality when you're, when you're, when you're doing your productions. I believe this Move 4K, let's let them say hello to the crowd if we can. There he goes. We're moving around a little bit. The Move 4K 30X, I believe, is the best value for long distance in the industry in the world. 4K, superior optics, better in low light, NDIH is concluded. And 4K means it's future-proof. Set and forget it. So let's talk about that. You've got a church or an auditorium in a high school. You're going to mount this 4K in the back of the room, and it is going to be there for five years or longer with the five-year warranty. You want to know that you can put that thing up there, run it through NDI, and you're just going to know that it's accessible. You can always get to it, and it's going to give you a great future-proof capabilities because even though we're not really streaming 4K today, you know you're going to in the future, plus 4K really becomes a big deal if you're going to put some glass within the room. So let's, what I mean by that is maybe you're going to have some, uh, so, some monitors on the side or an overflow room, or if you're in the auditorium, maybe you can have it on the outside of the auditorium or in other rooms in the school district where people can watch it. Well, that overflow, that, that 4K for the local area is just going to look that much better and that much sharper. And we all have 4K glass for, you know, our TVs are all 4K now if you go to buy them. So I'm going to tell you this 4K 30X at $21.99, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think it's the best value, the best product there is in the industry in PTC for your money. Now, a 30X throw, you don't always need. You know, if you're, if you're really in a smaller room, your room's less than, say, 20 by 20, no, 30X is overkill. But if you're getting to a room that's 20, 30, 40-foot throw, you're really going to appreciate that you got the 4K 30X. And even if you're not doing 4K today, you'll appreciate the superior optics today. And when you're looking at 4K in the future, you'll be spot on. Now, I want to see, have we been able to get Paul in? Okay, let's bring Paul back in because now we're going to talk about the Link 4K. And the Link 4K is uh, adding Dante control. And I know a little bit about Dante, but I'm not really the expert. So I'd like to bring Paul up on stage and have him talk to us about the Link 4K product line and why Dante is so important. Hey, Gary, sorry about that. That's okay. It's live and stuff happens, but we're glad to have you back in. So uh, we're really excited to offer Dante, and in, in some ways, you know, Dante really is the professional choice, especially for audiovisual integrators who are already working with so many of the hardware-based Dante audio systems for audio conferencing, or I, I was just in a demonstration today where they were showing me a Yamaha beamforming audio microphone array for a conference room that's able to uh, steer the Link 4K cameras. Uh, to the person who is speaking. And so Dante has some really awesome stuff coming out. And uh, is there something 
particular you'd like to talk about? Well, first I want to make sure everyone knows, just like the other cameras, 12X, 20X, 30X available, you pay a premium for the Dante because you're, quite frankly, you're paying a premium for the Dante to license their products. We get it. But let's go in a little bit more about, you know, what is, boil it down a little bit for people who don't know, because what is Dante AV exactly? Yeah, so it's an audio and video over IP solution with a suite of tools that are used for routing audio video over IP. And one of the most popular tools is the Dante Domain Manager and the Dante Controller. And they're really advanced tools that are used all the way up to the enterprise for managing hundreds and thousands of audio and video connections and routing them where they need to go. And one of the things you'll, you'll learn about Dante is there's over 25,000 certified Dante professionals. And Dante has a really robust certification process. So whereas with some other protocols, it's kind of the wild, wild west, and people are downloading software and trying things, and it generally will work. Um, with Dante, you're often working with a certified professional that is able to solve complex uh, systems and solutions for their customers, and they use Dante because of the robustness of the solution. Cool. Now, you know, we're big fans of NDI, and the first thing I want to stress is NDI and Dante AV don't cooperate. You're either one or the other. That's I think they've done it by design for each other. I don't think it's a technical issue. I think it's an on-purpose issue, but that's the way it is. So, you know, we know NDI pretty well, but on Dante, Let's talk about that. It's integrated by certified professionals. So if you are a Dante professional and you have to be watching our show because you want to learn more about PTZ cameras, well, these cameras are for you because there's going to be like, you're just going to, you're not going to have to install or learn NDI. You can just install it into your existing Dante workflows. And not all Dante workflows are IP, correct? They actually have a lot of hardware, old school, baseboard, baselines type stuff. But the IP video and the IP audio, they're really set in the standard. And when you talk about enterprise, Go into that a little bit more for, 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 our, for our viewers. Enterprise, that's like when I have like a office building that might have 20 or 30 conference rooms in it, right? Yes, that's, that, that is true. And you might have multiple audio and video devices. So we're talking about uh, conference rooms, boardrooms, uh, venues, stages, anywhere where there's a lot of audio. So in a, in a boardroom, each executive might have their own microphone. Each one might be a Dante microphone. It may be managed by a digital signal processor, a DSP for audio. Uh, we're talking about now cameras. And then how do you manage all of that? How do you make sure that the network infrastructure in place can support it? And a lot of times, you know, with, pro with IP protocols that don't have a robust training and certification process, people just throw up their hands and they go, okay, this is too complicated. We can't run this much audio and video on an enterprise network because maybe because the tools aren't robust enough, maybe it's a training and certification thing. Dante has had this rolled out for years. They have a large worldwide organization and the infrastructure in place to support larger, more complicated systems and stadiums and venues and large corporate environments. Has Not only is it there today, it's been there for a long time. And what we're doing is adding video to that infrastructure. So if you have Dante in your existing infrastructure, now you have PTZ cameras that can be added through IP into your existing workflow. Call your certified Dante dealer, whoever it is. Let them know that you want these PTZ cameras. He might tell you to buy them and he'll integrate them. Or he might, hey, he's going to buy them, put them in there, but they can. And now when we get into Dante and NDI, I always like to give my pitch. And even though it's a PTZ optics show, if you're going to be going with IP workflows, you want a Netgear AV M4250 switch they just manage it it's easier to set up it's easier to scale it's easier to make changes it's easier to troubleshoot they're just superior av switches and they happen to be our number one solution for ndi workflows and i think they're a number one solution for dot day workflows dot day AV workflows as well so enough with getting off of the ptz page let's get back on and let's wrap this up a little bit on where we are i got a little chart going up here so paul you can see that i've got the se's the 4k's and link 4k's what sets them apart? What do they have? They all have the total connectivity, which is HDI, 3G SDI, USB, and IP. HDX comes with the Move 4K. It's a $99 upgrade with the SE. The Link 4K goes with Dante AV, so you can't have NDI. But once again, 
pick the models that fit you best. If you've got some questions, give us a call. If you've got a workflow that's NDI and Dante, a little more complicated, we'll try to help you figure it out and what's going on there. But it's really cool that we now have a PTZ camera with those Dante links because that technology of being able to have Dante know to point the camera at the speaker based on the audio on the mic that's hot, that's a very cool thing. And that's something that we could do entire shows on. And I would love to see if Dante or you guys come out with a training video on that that shows that in action. Because that, to me, is a, a big feature for those people putting in conference rooms to new people who aren't used to doing that. We would be remiss to do a show about PTZ Optics cameras if we didn't talk about your amazing controllers. You guys have the most robust, affordable line of controllers that are out there. If I talk, I'm just going to wax poetically about my favorite controller, SuperJoy. So I'm going to let you talk about the whole lineup so that the, all the two products get some time as well. Yeah, so starting with the HC Joy G4, uh, this is still a great uh, product, even though Serial has kind of been around for a long time. There are so many setups that can benefit from a simple, easy, plug-and-play PTZ controller. It supports most people who use this. will plug the joystick directly into the first camera and daisy chain a second yep. or third camera onto the system. Very simple, easy, plug-and-play. doesn't take up any ports on your network switch. Now, most people are powering the cameras over power over Ethernet anyway, so it often does make sense to use an IP-connected joystick like the PT Joy G4, especially if you're managing cameras in multiple rooms, across your campus, et cetera, et cetera. The PT G4 is really great. It's got all the features that our customers have been asking for built into it. It's the workhorse. It's our most popular joystick because of the price point. But getting to the Super Joy, we add a few extra bells and whistles that are notable, including NDI support, including an HDMI output, which I can't tell you how popular that is, so that no matter what camera you're connected to, you can plug it into a monitor and see exactly which camera you're controlling without having to mess with your OBS or your vMix. We've got the custom buttons on there, which support a new feature we call Super Presets. And what that allows you to do with the click of a single button you can call presets on multiple cameras. So if you're at a house of worship and the volunteer left the cameras in all kinds of different spaces, you click one button, boom, they're all back to a normal setup. If you're in a stage or a theater environment, you've got two or three different scenes that you want to quickly change to, you can do that. And then, of course, you can also use these custom buttons to send commands to vMix, to OBS, to a TriCast, to do simple scene switching, making sure you're recording and streaming and functions of that nature. And Paul, I think it is the best joystick for under $1,000 in the world. And if you think about it, for just over $3,000, you could have the Move 4K 30K in the back, 30X in the back of the room, this controller going, plus multiple other uh, PTZ cameras going. One of the things I wanted to talk about, because I think I overstepped it and skipped it, is, is you don't have to be all 4K. You can have HD cameras and be upgrading or adding 4K into o over time. It doesn't have to be, I got to rip out all my HD cameras. You can do HD. All the 4K cameras can do HD as well. So I want to stress that people can migrate slowly to 4K. They don't have to go all in. But to me, the camera you want to start with is this puppy, the 30X in the back of the room. I just, I think for a value, it's just, you know how much I love the SuperJoy. You know how much I love this camera. My challenge is let's come out with a $3,000 bundle that gets you both. Well, I would love to do it with you guys. And the 30X is the top seller. It, the 4K, people are making that choice. The people have spoken. They want to get uh, the best of the best. And that's what the 30X 4K will get you. Cool. So this is kind of the wrap up. And I want to go back to the bidding. Move SE is a great affordable line starting at $9.99. Maybe you want to put multiple cameras in. You're on a tight budget. You're HD for now. You know you're not 4K for a while. Or maybe you're replacing... HD cameras that you bought during the pandemic that you're realizing they were good, but not so great. Not your brand, but other brands as people did, as people just rushed to get something that worked, and especially if you're a, a house of worship that maybe you've got a camera and you're realizing we don't want to add multiple cameras. We still want to be able to stream, but we could do better and a better camera can make a big difference. And an SE is a great way with that Sony sensor and the improved optics to really step up at an affordable level. And I really think I'll put those that line up against any cameras that are under $1,000. I think you guys, for a little bit more, deliver a whole lot more quality features. And you, like I said, we didn't even go into the software and the suite of tools you guys give there. 
Move 4K starting at $17.99. Great cameras, like I said. I'm in love with this body, my, my, my 30X, you know, for 2199 But even at $17.99 for 4K, you're the only company offering a full line of 4K cameras at $2,000 or under. The Link 4K is with Dante, a new technology. If you know what Dante is, give us a call. We've got cameras for Dante. If you don't know what Dante is, you don't need to worry about it. You know, go with NDI or go with, you know, USB, HDMI, SDI. It's all good. Let's talk about the rundown of what all PT op PTZ Optics next-gen cameras offer. Paul, hit those highlights. So I'm seeing here the, we have the USA-based support. And though that we have an award-winning support team that is going to pick up the phone, answer the tickets, get your situation fixed in a timely fashion. That the five-year warranty, where they will get you your replacements, at, at literally five full years. All of these cameras have auto tracking, and that is built in. So you don't have to. If you've got multiple classrooms, you do not need to run a computer for every classroom that takes up a lot of horsepower. These are built-in auto tracking. In the auto tracking, which we didn't get a chance to look at, and I won't drone on about it forever, there's a lot of features for designing it perfectly for a classroom, making sure you, you lock in. There's a, a feature we call presenter lock. So it will lock into the teacher. And if a student walks up, not going to be a problem. It's not on motion basis. You can actually detect an individual and lock in on them. Uh, there's some great features for that, along with the flexibility of having HDMI, SDI, USB. You'd be surprised. You think you just need USB today, then you find out you know you want to do some HDMI with yep. the video switcher, or you want to upgrade to NDI as you learn more about those tools. So getting a platform that you can grow with is a big key with all of these features. Paul. You brought up something on this last slide that I, I'm going to do my camera talking to the camera, make sure people get this kind of thing. So for emphasis, PTZ Optics, folks, has U.S.-based support. And it's not just U.S.-based support. Their guys are good. If you get them on the phone, they're going to walk you through. They're going to help you figure out what's going on. These cameras work right out of the box, folks. But every now and then, you hit a button, you do something that gets you in trouble. With PTZ Optics, you have U.S.-based support. I can't stress it enough. They're great. They're fantastic. Paul, I want to go back to you. What are those hours for U.S.-based support? It's not 24-7, but it's pretty darn good. So tell people what hours they can get support in the U.S. It's pretty much 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I, I, I'm almost positive that's what it is. We've got people coming in early. We've got people coming in late. We're not quite fully, you know, 9 to 5 East Coast to West Coast, but it's pretty darn close. And um, I'm working to expand those hours, Gary. I know that was something we talked about. But right now, it's Monday through Friday, and uh, um, starting early at 7 a.m., and we have somebody staying all the way till 7 p.m. And, Paul, don't apologize for having better service than any other PTZ company out there in the <laughs> U.S. But, yes, I do feel, because we sell so many of these at the House of Worship, that getting someone to come in Sundays, I think, would be a big help. But, once again, these aren't systems that really go bad while you're using them. Most of the time, it's got to do with setup or you did an upgrade to your system or an upgrade to your workflow. You know, you had a, you, had, you were using OBS, you got a TriCaster. Now you need some support getting the PTZ cameras. Or now you put in a controller that you weren't using before and it, one of the cameras doesn't seem like it's working with the controller correctly because you don't realize you have it set for being inverted and hanging from the ceiling. There's different things that come in that having that human being to just troubleshoot with you. It's like I said, it's really not that these are things are way off. It's just it's nice to have someone who understands what you're trying to do who you can talk to to make it better, because that's what support is about, right? It's about fixing the guy's problem, making it better, and the show goes on. Exactly All right. right. That wraps up our show. I thank you, Paul, for being on the show. PTZ Optics is a phenomenal partner of ours. We're looking forward to uh, seeing you guys in New York at the NAB show in New York. And uh, that's going to be at the end of, in October, I believe, but it might be the end of September. I get confused with those dates. Looking forward to that. Thanks for being on the show. And I just want to wrap up. Move SE, affordable HD. Move 4K, the world's most affordable 4K PTZ cameras, starting at under $2,000. And the Link 4K, entering the world of Dante AV, audio-based IP workflows. If you know what Dante is and you use it, well, we got some great camcorders for you. If you don't know what Dante is, don't worry about it. You don't need it. These cameras, I want to stress also that the SE can be upgraded to NDI for $99, and the Move 4K series includes NDI HX3. Phenomenal. Paul, thank you so much for being on the show. This is Gary from Video Guys. 
Like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, help us spread the word, share our videos, do all that good stuff. The more you help us spread the word, well, the better it is for everyone. What can I tell you? I'm Gary from Video Guys. See you next week. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.